using AI painting with Umodeler X. This process assumes that stable diffusion Webly has been pre-installed. You've started a new Unity project. Drag and drop the downloaded a Modeler X Hub installation file into the project to install. Enter the email address you want to use as your ID. If the email is not subscribed, go to the membership window. A message appears saying that a verification email has been sent to the given email. Open your email and check the verification email. Upon returning to the Umodeler Hub, registration is completed and a window to enter your password appears. Enter your password to log in. There is an Install button for Umodeler X and the All Products category. Click Install to install Umodeler X. Once installed, an additional icon appears next to the Umodeler logo in the scene view. You can immediately model using a modeler and use the painting mode. You can learn how to use the modeling tool using the manual. We'll try AI painting using an externally created model. Drag and drop the externally created model file into the project. Drag the imported model back into the scene to place it. In order to use painting mode in Umodeler X, the model must be a modelaris and changed to a modifiable state. Right-click the model in the hierarchy to unpack it. Execute the GAMI object, Umodeler X, a modelaris menu from the top menu. The original remains unchanged and is a modelaris. Comparatively, the Amodelaris model can see the Umodeler X icons in the inspector unlike the Amodelaris original. To do AI painting, move to the Painting tab. Set up basic configurations and start painting by clicking Start Painting. Various painting functions can be learned from the manual. By clicking the AI button, Menus previously seen in Stable Diffusion are implemented. For the same parameters, the values set in a Modeler X take precedence over the Webly. Parameters not yet implemented in Umodeler X are applied from the Webly. Make sure to turn on the Use Depth Map option. Set the numerical values drag to select the area to apply in the scene and press the Generate button. Make sure the console window used in the web Wii is open. A thumbnail of the generated result is displayed below. Select the generated result and press the Apply button to apply the texture. You can add layers, apply different results, use drawing tools, or edit using masks. Results are influenced by Unity's render pipeline and shaders, 
so you can test various results according to your development environment.